Holy Wiremind here. This is tutorial 10, expression 2 series, where I'm going to be covering file functions. So let's be, uh, get started by getting rid of all we don't need. We're going to need input of a button. And we're going to need an if first and dupe statement. Or a dupe statement, rather. And in this, we're going to need a important command for uh, when we load the file. It's run on file, which is saying whenever a file's been loaded, execute this entire expression tip again. We're going to also need an interval command of 500. And let's say we want to write a file. So we'd start with the if statement and say, first, uh, can the file be written in the first place? So are you permitted? And you'd write, file can write. And that's just going to be a conditional check, which outputs a 0 or 1. And we're going to say, whenever the owner is crouching, then execute this command. All right, so to write a file, we're going to type file write, and then we'll say our directory, which is going to be the file name, which I'll say tutorial.txt, and that .txt is important because we are writing a text file. And then we'll say in that text file, it's going to contain the word hello, exclamation point. Now, just to confirm, that this actually worked and everything's going according to plan. I'm gonna I'm gonna play some sound. Um, let's say it's crow. It per works perfect. So we're gonna hear a crow whenever the file has been successfully written. And then after the file's been written, we want to load it so we can use it again. So just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna load it right here and say file can load, which is gonna check if files are loadable or not. And after that, I'm going to put a um, file load command. And in here, I'm going to say tutorial.txt, because we want to load that text file we just wrote. Then I'll say print, make sure everything's going correct, file loading. All right. Now, whenever the file's been loaded, we'll say file click which means whenever run on file has been activated, the file just loaded and all this is being executed again, file click will recognize that and output a 1 on this uh, run through of the expression 2 chip. So then we'll check if that is true and if the file has been loaded, then we're going to want to print file loaded. Now we have a button up there, so we're going to say if there's a change of button, if it becomes a 1 or a 0, and a file is not loading, which is represented by this exclamation being the not function, remember, this is file loading, this is file not loading, then we're going to print the name of the file which has been loaded, the file name, plus colon, space, and we're going to add what the contents of the file, which is represented by the file read command. So if all works well, this is going to tell the, uh, run on fi uh, the expression 2 chip to run whenever the file's been loaded. This is going to write the file name as soon as I crouch here. It's going to play a sound, and then it's going to load that file. And as soon as the file's been loaded, this front end file activates. This file click and file loaded um, becomes true. We'll see a print of file loaded. And whenever we press the button here, it'll print that whatever the contents are. So that's the general idea. We do have one error, which I thought, which is very minor. So you put first or duped. And then we need to left curly bracket right here. So let's get that button. All right. And we'll wire it up. So button to button. This is tutorial, hello. All right. Well, that's from a pre uh, previous video. So we hear uh, the crow. And the file's been loaded. So let's press the button. Tutorial.txt, hello. Awesome. So let's actually go change what's written, and we'll uh, just write anything so you know it's actually working correctly. 
So we got crouch, file loaded. For some reason it takes uh, two loads sometimes to actually load in the new text. Um, but anyway, let's say I want to actually add to the end of this file. I don't want to overwrite it like I just did. Well, it's first by I uh, start by putting hello again. So I can rewrite that. And at the end of that hello, I'll put instead file write, file append. What? What? Oh, screwing up here. File append. There we go. And at the end of the file, I'm going to write, it's a me, holy wire mod. All right. So I'm going to load that real quick and press the button. It's been appended. It's a me, holy wire mod. All right. Well, that concludes everything that you need to know for file functions. Um, I mean, there are going to be minor kinks, which you're going to have to figure out. Like uh, that load issue, having to load it twice and all that. But I believe in you. And uh, I'm going to catch you next vi uh, video, which is going to be covering holograms. So I'll see you next time.